A string instrument is a piece of wood with what's called a fingerboard, strings, a bridge, pegs to tune it, a sound post inside, so-called F-holes, which are F-shaped, which let the sound out. To learn a stringed instrument, you have to have very fine motor skills. So your fingers are adjusting all the time to play the note purely what we call in tune. And then you have to master this skill of this bow, which is a piece of wood with horsehair stretched along it, and a little bit of sticky rosin, which comes from trees, and that's basically what it is. I'm Rosemary Nolden, and I'm the founder and director of the Buscade Academy of String Teaching and Performance, and it's based in Deep Kloof, Soweto. Buscade is a, a music school where we teach stringed instruments uniquely. We perform and we teach. That's the main thrust of what we do. And we aim to teach to the highest possible international standards, but we are also really a, a social development program. So we are creating jobs. We are very much involved with the community. Very early on, I realized that you teach the whole child. You don't just teach children's left, right hands, eyes and, and brains to focus on music. You have an individual with many problems, many challenges, and you inevitably get involved in their personal lives and help as much as you possibly can. Yeah, can you hear that's a little bit better in tune? Yes. Good! Very good indeed. It was November 1991 and I had the radio on and I heard the sound of string playing. This was a, a, a string group from Soweto. And I said, look, you know, wouldn't it be nice to sort of help because it actually was a cry for help. This guy was saying, life's very difficult here. We don't have this, we don't have that. We don't have music, we don't have instruments. On March the 6th, 1992. And we basically stood in Victoria Station, played music and put a hat out. And in the end, we played in 16 railway stations, not only in London, but around the country as well. And we added this money up and it came, in the end, it came to about £6,000. And somebody said to me, you know, you really shouldn't send that money just like that to South Africa. You should try and go. And I went down to Soweto and I visited this terribly run-down project. But it just had the most extraordinary impact on me. And I'm still here. <laughs> I suppose what I would like to see is that more children are able to come, that there are more opportunities for them, that this high standard, these expectations of reaching the highest possible standard are always there. And we've produced so many talented kids. Here is where they have to reach, and when they've got to there, they have to go higher and higher and higher until they reach the, the stars. These are South African heroes.